Good morning. I am Sister Ann Trace Collins, and I've been a member of the community for many years and experienced great things along the way, as well as a few sorrows. One important golden thread running through the CHM community is an emphasis upon education. Our founders were educators in France. Many women came to join us because they had been educated by the CHM community. I am an example of an, uh, someone who went to St. Patrick's School in the Tumwalk, the Academy, and graduated from Mary Crest College with a BA. It's also interesting to note that my mother was educated by sisters Alberta, Jerome, Regis, and James, all of whom I have taught with in later years. Although the CHMs have valued education for women, as revealed in the establishment of a Tumwa Heights College and Mary Crest College, we have believed that everyone is deserving of an education. One reason we were invited to a Tumwa was to teach the boys. We also taught the boys at St. Albert's in Consul Bluffs. We eventually taught the Italians at St. Anthony's and they were a joy. We enjoyed all of them. Most of our teachers have been well prepared for the teaching ministry. The work of Mother Geraldine, Hazel Marie, Muriel, and others emphasized that value. We were also involved in the sister formation movement, which began in 1950. That hand program had a two-fold purpose, and it also gave attention to the foundation for continued growth in spirituality as uh, also, it prepared young religious for teaching. The CHM sisters who wanted to teach were able to teach as they saw fit. My emphasis upon education began when I was superintendent of schools in 1968. We worked with religious communities and the local school personnel <clears throat> which was a very sensitive in, uh, issue as we had to close some schools. Although the golden thread of education of CHN has been broken because we no longer have a unified system of education and our colleges are no longer ours, we believe that education is an individual task now. As I look back on my 93 years and of my more than 70 years in, uh, as a CHM, I realized that I was educated by the humilities and I educated others as a humility. My life has been rich, full, and fun, and a great part because of my education. <clears throat>